welcome you to our tortoise hibernation video. Here at Northampton Reptile Centre we're getting asked all the time by our clients what do we do to hibernate our tortoise and the main aim of this video is to alleviate and take some of the worry away. We're going to give you some pointers that hopefully will mean that we can help you make the correct decision. Now the first thing we've got to consider is have we got the right tortoise to hibernate and we are looking at hibernating any of the Mediterranean species and that's marginated, Mediterranean spurthi, horsefields and Herman's tortoises. Now there's four stages that we're going to talk you through in this video. We've got getting ourselves ready, making sure we've got all the equipment together. We've got pre-hibernation, hibernation and waking up. So the first bit we're going to do is getting ourselves ready, getting our equipment ready. And the main bit that we're going to discuss with you is that we educate our customers to use a fridge. Now, a lot of people get very scared by that idea, but the reality is we want to put that tortoise into five degrees Celsius. Now that's what's used in the wild. In the wild, they don't want to be at naught degrees because they might get frostbite. If they're at 10 degrees, they are too warm and they use body fat. So the tortoise goes up and down in levels in the soil to find five degrees Celsius. Now we can do that by using a fridge. Now there are many types of fridges on the market. Um, normal household fridges are ideal. What worries us is that there is beer fridges on the market. Now, a beer fridge uses a freezing device in the top corner of the fridge, and as you can imagine, that is quite dangerous. Tortoises, if they get too close to that freezing device, can get frostbite. There are also now other units on the market that take away the worry. The one that we've got here cools, so it, makes the, it, it becomes a fridge, but it also will mean that it can warm up a little bit and it can make sure your temperature stays exactly at five degrees. And those devices are ideal if you're going to use an outside location. What you've got to remember is if you put your fridge in a shed or a garage and then we get a really severe frost, the shed and the garage don't warm up and then of course the tortoise may still get frostbite. So it's essential the location that you're going to put your fridge. Now, one of the main aspects of being prepared is making sure that you feel your tortoise is healthy. There's a few things that you should be doing on a regular basis anyway, and one of those is weighing your tortoise regularly. It's a great way to find out that your tortoise, if it's gaining weight, that it's probably a healthy animal. And the first signs of it becoming ill would be a loss in weight. So we need you to start weighing your animal using digital scales because we have to be very, very accurate at the weight loss during hibernation. The other aspect is worming your tortoise. Now, we want to make sure that this little devil is wormed every year, and we want to be considering doing that in the spring. We want to make sure that the um, animal is clear of worms through the summer, and when we go into hibernation, there's nothing there to worry about. The other part is that all tortoises now need to be chipped when they're plastron length. That's the shell that's underneath, reaches 100 millimeters. Now we want to make sure that that is done in the spring because we don't want any open wounds when that animal goes into hibernation. So it's just something to consider. We're now ready to start the first stage of pre-hibernation. We've got our vivarium. We have check that that temperature is above the 75 degrees Fahrenheit and 24 degrees Celsius to make sure that animal's stomach is working and we're going to withdraw food. Now it might, it might take two to three weeks to make sure that animal's stomach is empty but that is what we're trying to achieve. Now we can do that by giving the animal warm baths every day. You can imagine it raises the metabolism, it takes in fluid, but it hopefully helps it pass emotion. And if we can do that on a regular basis, when we know we're not passing any more faeces, we can feel that that animal's stomach is then clear. Right, now that we know that the tortoise's gut is clear, we can then, first of all, turn all the lights and the heat off. We want to find about four or five locations around the house that are slowly cooler and cooler and cooler. And that means we're not giving the animal a quick shock by putting it straight in the fridge. We're just over the next couple of weeks finding a cooler and cooler scenario so the animal is happier when it goes into hibernation properly in the fridge. 
I've talked about weighing tortoises before, but this is the most important part. Weigh your tortoise just prior to going into the fridge and keep a record of that information. The next bit we're going to do is we've got our boxes. First box should be just bigger than the tortoise. We've drilled a few holes in there, but the tortoise goes into the first box. We pack it with some shredded paper and that makes it nice and, and tight for the tortoise so it can't move around and it's very, very comfortable. And then we put that box in a bigger box with shredded paper again. Now the reason we have two boxes is just a little bit of um, help with insulation. For example, if uh, your electric supply goes off, we don't want the temperatures to fluctuate too much and it just gives us that extra bit of control. Now the next thing we've got to decide is how long we want to keep our tortoise into hibernation. As a rule of thumb, um, we would say don't worry about hibernating the tortoise for the first couple of years. Get your confidence, you're weighing regularly, you know the tortoise is healthy. And then perhaps on year three, we would give it four weeks. Year four, we would give it eight weeks and year five we would give it 12 weeks. We wouldn't want to uh, put it into hibernation for any longer than 12 weeks, that would be a maximum. Now, we are going to now talk about how to make sure we're confident that nothing is going wrong in hibernation, and we do that by a weight system. That means because we're weighing it, we check the weight loss that's happening every week. Now, the weight we're gonna follow is that that tortoise can afford to lose 1% of its body weight per month. So that means in a 500 gram tortoise, it can afford to lose five grams. Now that isn't a lot. If you put five mil or five grams in, and you see that, that means that it can't afford to lose anything really at all. And it's a good indication that something isn't quite right. Now the other great thing about getting this tortoise out weekly is that we can see whether there's other signs that means things aren't going right. First is, whether it's past emotion, whether it's defecated. Now if it has, then that means you've put it into hibernation potentially a little bit too early. You haven't checked that the gut is clear early when you've been getting it on your pre-hibernation routine. And the next thing is whether it has passed any fluid, urates. Now, all of these things I would consider waking your tortoise straight up with. The urates concern me a little bit more. It might be the fact that the kidneys have been struggling whilst it's in hibernation. And on that particular instance, I would consider seeking the advice of an exotic vet and just checking that your tortoise is nice and healthy. Right, now you've done the hardest bit and it's time now to wake your tortoise up. This isn't difficult at all. Basically, take your tortoise out of the box and put it into the vivarium. But for the first 24 hours, don't put any extra light on. We want it to warm up to room temperature just at its own pace. And pretty much from day two, you can go back to your normal routine. The most important thing is to bath your tortoise every day in warm, tepid water. Start giving it food. And as a rule of thumb, by day seven, you really should have seen it drink, eat, and go to the toilet. Now, if this hasn't happened, don't hesitate to speak to your vet and just check that you're happy that your tortoise is nice and okay and healthy. Now, I've really enjoyed making this video for you and I hope you've enjoyed watching it and it's taken away some of the pressure and given you pointers to help you make a decision. If you've got anything at all you're worried about, please give us a call, come into the shop and it's been a pleasure. Thank you for watching.